Hey guys, um, welcome to Cry Clairvoyance. Um, still having a problem trying to get used to that name, but uh, just want to give a message. Um, there's so many messages that I'm getting that's coming through. Um, the best thing that you can do in 2023 is to get to know yourself better. See, you have been chosen and selected to live a certain type of lifestyle. And this lifestyle breeds envy amongst your family. So, again, I've been getting so many messages till I want to focus on this message on family. And, you know, just the, the word I'm hearing is cruelty or cruelty. So you have a very cruel, wicked family that is watching you. And if you look at the background, this person has their eyes on every last one of your chakras. And if you look at this back in the background, you guys, that's essentially, this is a speaker, okay, that you're looking at that just happens to look like an eyeball. Alrighty, and this is in my house. So... You know, just, to, and again, I've been getting uh, just so many downloads till, you know, they're starting to cross over because I'm, I haven't been delivering the messages. But I want you to know that, you know, protecting your energy and knowing yourself is the best thing you can do. Because, see, your family knows something about you that you don't, you didn't know. Or maybe you know now, or you're getting to know this, but your family realize they can steal your energy easy and probably over the last year i will say no it was about within the last year or two and not 2023 because we're just in this year i'm saying 2022 2021 so they started really stealing your energy back in 2020 now they were working on you before that but you were so strong, protected, and in your own zone that it was bouncing back to them. And you honestly didn't even think twice, you know. And as a chosen one, again, a selected individual to live a specific certain lifestyle, you guys, there's only one individual like this in every family. Okay? Um you'll notice that you were the not a black sheep or none of that stuff i mean essentially it's called a black sheep but you just knew you were different and when i say different you you know you looked at your you know you just looked at everybody like hell we all people you know we're all the same but then you notice something about you like we're gonna start back when you were younger so, you know, everything's good, everything's fine, but then all of a sudden you got a, it's just a popping sound in your finger or a popping sound in your toe. At least for me, it was my toe. And, you know, I was like, wow, you know, maybe I need to crack my knuckles or something, something along that, those lines, right? And you're like, okay, well, I'll just, you know, you try to crack your knuckles and things like that, or you try to crack the... You know, bend your toes back and forth thinking that you're going to get rid of this sound or, you know, put your bone back in place. Well, that wasn't that. That is not what it was. And see, for me, they used to be like, oh, hey, she got dust. They'd be like, look at them snapping toes because my big toe on my right foot would just snap when I walked. And it was not like that prior to it happening that, you know, to me. And I was when it happened, I was about, I know I was playing basketballs in high school and, uh, what it was was my cousin stole the energy out of my toe. I walked past him one day, and I didn't realize, you know, that that was something that could happen. At least I'm talking about it now. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'm talking about it now. But that was something that I went through and lived with, such as yourself, unknowing. Okay? All the way through adulthood. But see, then something happened. You started, you moved away. You got away from your family altogether, okay? And 
when you got away from your family altogether, things start to align back up for you. And you, you know, you move to a whole different state. See, the, the Lord is going to move you completely away from those that are affecting you in such a negative way. You know why? Because the person that's affecting you or infecting you, because these people are infectious to your soul. There are, these people are like bugs and diseases. They are toxic. Okay, so whether you know it or not, toxicity is not just a food because it's the food that people eat that makes them them, correct? So when you were younger, you were eating, you know, eating everything that mama cooked like everybody else, right? But then you knew that you had allergies to certain things. You would probably have allergies to, you know, just going outside, you know, when it's hot out there and all that pollen going. So you're like, okay, cool. I'm allergic to, like for me, I'm allergic to chocolate. For you, you could be, you know, allergic to seafood, you know, shellfish, things of that nature. So of certain things that you knew that you were allergic to, you know, unlike anybody else in you know in the surrounding your 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 immediate surrounding at home or whatever that's because a lot of your allergies was coming from your environment the people that you were around okay and it's not that it was coming from that it's just that your insides were allergic to that so now that you're living with all these people that your body really genuinely don't agree with but you're young you don't know that, that this is the issue so you're like okay cool so then you start to get older and then you start to just kind of close off and be like, you know what? It's something about these people that's different. And I don't get it. Right? Well, as time went by, you were moved on with your career. You know, you went to, you know, college or, you know, got a good job, you know, got you a you know, decent car, you know, got you a place to stay. And... You're like, okay, cool, everything is good. But then when you go back around your family, you would just start feeling like, okay, wait a minute. Why do I feel like something ain't right? Like they don't like you or you feel as though there's something being said or there's a missing link. You felt like something was going on, but you're like, okay, well, I'm so, you're, you're chosen, you're an empath. So you're like, okay, well, you know, you're hard, it's hard for you to decipher between your emotions, whether they're yours or whether they're someone else's. All you know is you felt a disconnect. You felt as though there was something that was missing and you didn't know what it was. You felt as though all you could really do was go to work, you know, get up, look nice, dress good, keep your hair and everything together, you know, do your nails simplistically, not like what they're doing out here in the, you know, in the entertainment realm or in their entertainment world, you know, that these people uh, go get some fake weave or get their hair weave done or, and mind you, being an organic being, you don't have a problem with weave or nothing like that, but you're just saying, damn, do you, does it have to be such a big damn deal to comb your hair and do your nails, you know what I mean, and brush your teeth or who knows, get braces and get them straight and look, it ain't nothing wrong with keeping yourself together and looking good. Well, the more you start to get into this, the more your family started to envy you and you was wondering why. Well, that's because they were stealing from you, energetically pulling from you, but they saw that you kept seeming to get out of this. And if you see this, see that cord? See, they had a cord over you, but it wasn't completely over your eyes. Like they trying to pull the pull, they try to pull the wool completely over your eyes now. Like she still don't know this. Well, what you didn't know was they were using a lot of these are demonic individuals that do everything they can to pull from you. Well, you have such a loving nature that you thinking that everybody around you you know, has that energy, but they don't. They really cannot stand the fact that your body look good or, you know, you were, you were healthy, you were athletic, you were, whatever you were doing, you were excelling at a young age. That's what the chosen do. You came here for a purpose, all righty? Well, 
you observed the world outside of you, like outside of your home, but you didn't observe the people that were in your house like you should. Yeah, you talk about them, you know, oh, so and so, he, he need to go bathe, his feasting, he ain't gonna never get a job at that. You said all that, but what you didn't know, they was focusing on you. I don't know what this thing said, but hopefully it'll keep charging. It says something about, anyway, well, with them focusing on you so heavy, the messages that I'm getting is that at this point in time in life, I don't care how old you are, you had to go back and, and think about, you know, the spirit encouraged you, your, your childhood, go back to childhood, go back to thinking about how you were and what was going on back then. Well, as you more and more and more, you're thinking about it, you're like, okay, now that I've gotten older, I'm realizing, you know, I'm going, you're going through your spiritual warfare or whatever. Well, your family. See, when you moved away, you were fine. You know, you got all aligned up. You was working out or being healthy or going to the gym or eating, right? You was doing a lot of positive things away from your home as well as, you know, um, going after your career, meeting some new love, things of that nature. Well, your family has such a hold on you and such a serious pullback energy on you that these people were destroying your life wherever you moved to in that whole other state and you didn't even realize it okay now that's because they had poured their energy into you younger you were able to shake some of it off you know shake some of it off working out you know going to the gym or whatever so you go out of town you know you strive you excel you wrote your book or you did like for me i wrote a book and you know you went and live life you're still doing your working out but then you said okay you know what i realized that my family's not around okay so eventually you go back home or move back home but then as soon as you get home you're like well wow what the fuck is going on because everybody's arguing with each other nobody seems to like each other but they all like hey 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 to you but you're noticing that they don't they're separated they're you were the missing link i guess is the point that i'm getting at okay you're the only one that was chosen so when you what you saw was that without you all them arguing well, listen to what I'm saying. Now that you're back in town, they all cool again because that's what you encouraged, correct? Well, now that you're back, they're all doing much better. But at the same time of them doing much better, you starting to feel sick again. You starting to feel like, you know, everything was cool. You know, your body was straight. Everything is good. But then all of a sudden, your cousin, cousin comes over and offer you a bag of weed that he just simply don't want no more. All right? Or you get back to town, you like, okay, I'm not in the financial position that I'm, I was in. My family ain't very helpful. It ain't really nobody I can go stay with that I feel comfortable staying in their home. You get what I mean? And this is your own family. All right? So, you know, you stay at a hotel. You do whatever you do. What you got to do until you get your own little spot. And... You finally do get your spot. I keep watching this little message coming up on my phone, hoping it don't just turn off. So now you get your little spot. Now everybody want to stop by, which is kind of against your rules. But you're like, okay, well, I'm here to try to, you know, help everybody out. And, you know, hopefully things get back together. Well, guess what? As soon as they start doing much better, you start to get sick. If you're not getting sick, you're not, you feeling like, you know what? Why the fuck are my finances and shit? Shit just ain't going right. Well, that's because they were stealing the energy out of your back whenever you was talk, come around, or do whatever. Now, being chosen, you have a lot of, and it ain't junk in your trunk, because we'll, that's a whole nother conversation about people or bitches, basically, with big booties coming around you to steal out your back. Necessarily, they don't, they don't necessarily have to have big booties, but they just have their backs more in order than you do. Yeah, you work out, you do what you do, but your back ain't as tight as it should be, need to be, or what you would like it to be. And then that's just something that you were avoiding. You're like, well, maybe my shit just don't go, you know, I don't know. You just had a lot of excuses, you know, a lot of reasons, and just, just a low, very, very low vibe towards, you know, figuring out how a back being figuring out something about your back but you envy this in people to a certain degree well guess what when you would go around these people they knew you were insecure about that because they could feel it but you would think it but you could you thinking it 
and on the low, you looking at all they backs. For some reason, you wondering why, why the fuck do you keep staring at people's asses and backs, right? And you looking like, damn. Because you know deep inside you that that was an insecurity or something that you were missing or something you were avoiding doing. Well, that's because they will come around you and make sure you notice their back because anybody, make sure you know what I'm saying is real. Anybody that steals your energy has to bring it to your face and your forefront. That's the only way they can be able to keep it is if you notice that they got it, but you don't do anything about it. Well, but, but you notice because whenever a person steals your energy, they'll stay coming around you and your energy field one way or another if they're family. You know why? Because you are a chosen one. Chosen ones have the ability to burn that energy off. See, you are an energy healer. But you're not their supply. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There is a source for the supply of energy that they need want or want. But they were using you as their source. See, when you moved out of town and that things like that, they realized that that energy was gone from the family. Nope, everybody's dry, angry, pissed off, uh, got an attitude, things like that. You come back around, you're like, wait a minute, what's going on? Y'all need to get this together. Things of that nature, right? Oh, whoa, well, don't that feel good to them? So, the more and more you about that, the more and more they tell you things about the family, this, that, and the third, it's just really pulling from your inner being, and you are unknowing of this. But they know that if they push all their problems on you, the person that you are, the inner being that you are, will heal that but what you didn't know is that they're not just pushing it on you they're giving you their problem and wanting you to solve it did you hear what i said well as they give you your their problem in exchange you're giving them wealth all right energetic wealth well it start to feel so good and feel so great they want to do it again so now some of those calling you and you're like, wait a minute. If you're like me, a lot of the chosen have, you know, they've had so much energy stolen out of their backs till they don't have kids of their own. And you're, you're probably just now getting to know how this game is going. It's your riches that they want. They're stealing it out of your back. All right? And so now you're watching your homegirl's butt. Now you're watching your cousin's ass. Now you're watching, you know, your... uh mate's ass male or female don't matter you now you're looking at your sister's ass you're just looking at these asses around you and you're looking like okay cool well unbeknownst to you they've been watching your ass okay you had the baddest body the tightest ass and things like that growing up that you didn't realize you had because how many kids do you know that really know what they have as a kid you can stand in the mirror all day and you don't even really know what you're looking at <clears throat> Unless you, you know, advance and things of that nature. But there's an innocence to a child. But well, that's where they wanted to keep you. Alrighty? So again, see all those different, see that eye? That's a speaker, like I said, looking like an eyeball right now as we speak. And as you can see, it looks like a lot of different little colors and crystals and stuff right there in your eyeball. That's because you are very rich. All right? In your being and they know that so the I guess I'm getting to the point is is that if you don't get to know yourself better here in 2023 moving forward whoever you are no matter what your age is these people are going to continue to try to steal from you well if you ever watch any crime show the people that steal kill and destroy are the people that are the closest to you and that's why when you moved out of town Previously, it was an abrupt move. You just got up and like, you know what, Lord, I'm out of this bitch. And you left town. And you were like, okay, it was an abrupt move, but I'm, you know, I'm adjusting, I'm dealing with it. You start, you know, everything started being cool eventually. But then you had went out of town, but when you, <coughs> pardon me, who you went to, <coughs> excuse me, that's, you know, shit like that happens. They mess with your throat chakra and all that when they don't want you to get information out, but it's cool. And I didn't realize how strong the power, the spiritual realm is. 
anyway, point is, get to know yourself better. I was going to say, you know, you went out of town, you went and you, you know, you was like, okay, well, I'm going to go stay with my cousin. They live here. They live in Atlanta. You know what I mean? They do whatever. So I'm going to go stay there. Then you're like, wait a minute. I didn't come out of town to be arguing and shit. Well, this was one of the same people who stole energy out of your back when y'all both, the cousin that lived in Atlanta, used to live in your hometown or wherever you moved to Atlanta, Florida, LA, I don't know, you know, whatever your story is. So you started to say, okay, you know, well, what's all this arguing and all this shit about with your cousin or, or your, whoever your sister, whoever you moved to go be with, this person felt like they had the one up on you because you're moving to their house. And you know how people are about their houses and all of that. And have y'all noticed when you go live with somebody, you end up paying more money trying to stay with this month, these people or this individual almost getting sucked in and trapped because they're watching your money so hard but you're saying well wait a minute i'm only staying here i ain't trying to pay all your rent i'm just trying to stay here for a little minute so see how you get the guy to go on and all that bullshit well it was established and understood before you ever got there but then when you get there it's all this drama yeah well that's the drama that when you left your hometown you ended up going to another family member and then that same person who stole from you that encouraged you to get there was the same person who was was is, is that's willing to take from you you know why because soon as you got there your body looked nice you were driving a better car but you stayed in they home okay now there's a fucking problem you feel what i'm saying so unless these people feel like they have trumped you on all you know what i'm saying in all four corners they need to have a better body than you. We're going to start there because that's where the spiritual warfare lies, okay? They want to have a better car than you. They want to have a better house than you. They want to have more kids than you. They want to have a better education than you. But that's not the case. But it's all this perpetration and all of this shit. So you got to get to know yourself better and understand that, you know, protecting yourself and your energy feels is, has a, everything to do with your back. All right, you was one of the ones that avoided doing back bends and shit when you were younger. All right, now, once you did work on your back, oh, guess what? They figured out a way to pull it back, back out of place. See, when you had the snapping toe or the cracking fingers or whatever when you were younger, that was them pulling, that was them in child form. 15, 16, 14, 13, they realized then they can pull from your energy. But they think that, but they thought that you were just so sublimely blind. You get what I'm saying? But you realized there was something that was going the fuck on. So now, you know, but mind you, like I said, you were healthy. You was like, okay, cool. But if you notice, you always stay sick with something. And it was always something having to do with your genital region. Your, it was a fibroid, a cyst, all right? And then as you go get your stomach cut to have the surgeries or whatever, now you feel like your back is weak. So you're like, okay, well, my back is just weak. Well, guess what? That didn't, they didn't do nothing but, but just in, infect you is what they did. Those people are toxic to you. You genuinely, here in 2023, moving forward, need to stay away from your family. I'm not bullshitting. You need to keep them toxic-ass folks away from you and your very, very rich, positive, gold-struck energy that they're trying to steal from you. See, these people want to be that one that lives that long-ass life. And you know how they're doing it? By stealing the life out your back. Because they think that you're going to be that one, and they don't want to see that. They don't want to see that. Like my grandmother she said she went so much went through so much with my grandfather but every time i hear her say oh george is dead and gone and i'm still alive he can, you know what i mean and she wasn't smiling about it or nothing but she was just saying you know he did a lot of cheating on me he did that's destroying the energy of the chosen seriously and i'm getting the chills as i say that so i don't know who's listening or who this actually is resonating to or maybe it could be my grandmother saying that's right so what I'm saying to you is there you have a very, very serious, heavy, obsessed, 
this these people well i'm gonna say this person so since we're talking about family because you got others that are in your energy field too see you got to understand as the chosen one everybody wants your energy but see, before they was trying to steal it from you, and they could, and you had, you, you, you know, as you got older, you found, you know, that you have a little bit more control over yourself. Pardon me, y'all. Trying to adjust myself. You got a little bit of more control over yourself or whatever. Let me grab me something to smoke, smoke on a little second. So, anyway. Oh, yeah, that's another thing, too. Yeah. That's smoke. Okay, so now you're smoking weed now. At least so they think. You're just now smoking weed because, you know. No, it wasn't that you just started smoking. You just started kicking it or smoking with them. So you, you're you chosen. You've been to college. You know that lifestyle. You know all that shit. You know all the ups and downs, the toxins, the this and that. You're thinking you were family, so okay, you're cool, you safe. On the cool, you don't even like to hit a joint behind nobody, let alone smoke somebody's cigarette. But you started doing dumb shit when you got older. Like, oh, let me hit that cigarette. Uh, I hit the, you know, hitting, hitting blunts and shit, just going against all of everything that you ever set forth for yourself to believe. You get what I'm saying? Or, or your belief system, you went against it, okay? So with that being said, and you guys, I have um, mint, and don't get it twisted because I still need to, you know, wean myself off a, of, off a, of, you know, smoking cigarettes here and there or or weed or whatever so but right now i've got this herb it's called um uh mint no pepper peppermint or spirit oh spearmint leaf and i get it from my herb store and um so with that being said you know these people thinking that you're you know you're switching up well now you go okay so now you move back to town you realize ain't nobody really doing shit with they self you get what I'm saying? And then you look around and you're like, damn, out of all this time I've been gone, y'all can't think to decorate y'all walls and, you know what I'm saying, fix up your home or whatever. But you know why they can't? Because they're so busy arguing with each other. To their creativity is extremely limited. That's what's wrong with toxic people. They don't have it. They're, they're so busy talking loud and yelling and try to one-up they, you know, the next member in their family. So now, you know, you got your grandmother done had, well, four, five, eight, nine kids in each, you know, family, you, because those are sub-families within the family, right? Well, auntie so-and-so kids is trying to do, outdo uncle so-and-so's kids. You get what I'm saying? Stupid bullshit like that. So... My encouragement and the reason for this message is to get to know yourself better so that people could quit li can let me go a little sl slower. Get to know yourself better so people can can quit living vicariously in your energy. Because the Lord is trying to get you to the riches that that are yours and that that, you know, mean belongs in your life and on your side of the map. And if anybody wanted, and you've been going to people's houses and bullshit over the last two, three years, or letting them come over your house, motherfuckers don't need to come over your house unannounced. You, you had people coming over unannounced and bullshit. That went against your spiritual realm thoughts because you have to protect your energy. Well, they knew this. And then they come in with all these bullshit conversations because anybody that's, that is, Listen, you are a chosen that the people that I'm, my objective is to talk to a chosen one, okay? Going through, or who've been through spiritual warfare over these years, okay? The devil's busy and all that. But these people have been working on you for years. But not to mention, moving back further, if you're a male, an uh, old girlfriend, if you're a female, an old boyfriend from like high school, who still stay connected to your energy these people were connected to your smarts your wit your wisdom you know how you could just go through school do your work go play a sport and move the fuck on while they still trying to figure out how to do their science project from elementary school or something stupid you get what i mean y'all get what the fuck i'm saying in other words they still trying to figure out one little spot of the map and you you don't went on because see you got eyes that have all those different colors look at that eye looking chakra like i said this is an actual speaker but it's so dark in here, you can't really tell. But I want you to see that this is actually shaped like an eye. And they want to see that cord that's real close. That's that cord that you need to cut. 
those are your family members and things like that. And I can easily move this out the way. But you know what? You see how that turned, twisted and turned? That's how they got you. They connected. But that ain't where you want. That ain't how it's supposed to be out here. That ain't what the Lord wants for you. And the Lord don't want you to move nothing out your way. He wants you to cut the fucking cord and get these bitches out your life and your face. And when they come around is when the fuck you say so. And if they get any energy from you, it's because you picked up your fucking phone and allowed them in. You don't need to answer your phone until after 9 o'clock at night. See, the spiritual spiritual ones, we rock with it. Whether you like it or not, it's moon energy. Moon energy is feminine energy, all right? And that's where you are. But dealing with these people who move around in the daylight... Believe me, it's a difference between daylight energy, duh, and night energy, between sun energy and moon energy. You are a sun goddess that operates in moon energy, period. And that's just what it is. So with that being said, these people don't give a fuck. They want you down, dirty, broke. These folks want your body out of order. They trying to, and mind you, if you know anything about the spiritual room, if they get you sick and you and they and you go to the hospital and make a big bill that the government and the system can actually gain off of, they get to get money. Did you know that? They get paid for making you sick. I'm not bullshitting. I when I realized this was shit was happening to me and, and how they're communicating, they're communicating with a God that's not yours. And if the Lord is your God, then who do you think they worshiping? Yes, it's a very scary thought, isn't it? So anyway, I'm just mind you, if you're just alone at home, you're laying in your bed, or you chilling, I'm getting the image of somebody just laying in their bed, just listening to this video, then this video is for you. And sweetheart, or young man, I don't care if you, I don't give a fuck if you 50 something years old and you a chosen man, you have still youthful energy, so young man, young lady, and I didn't say immature, I said young, youthful. You have a youthfulness in you that people want. You're the type of individual that will turn 60 years old and be one of them good looking ass 60 years old with some beautiful ass skin. The only thing different is gray damn hair. All right, and the fact that you, you, your mind is so mature that you wouldn't mess around out there with them idiots no damn way. You know what I mean? You are that one that's supposed to have that beautiful golden coconut, co coconut, cocoa butter, you know, uh, type of skin with the beautiful face and things of that nature. See, I have a friend whose grandmother was like that. Beautiful face, but she stays sick with something. Oh, lo and behold, he's one of the people that's part of my spiritual warfare. And then you wonder what was going on with him. And then I wonder what was going on with his grandmother. And how she could never really seem to keep her shit together because this sorry motherfucker stealing out of his grandma back. See, the shit goes, it'll keep on going if you don't find out and realize who you are and who you should and shouldn't be around and how to protect. See, what and what, what are they using? What are they using? How are they stealing their, your energy like that? How is what you wonder? Well, it's called an energy transference. And... <laughs> 